Good morning. It's Monday, December 14th. On today's full World Watch show over at worldwatch.news, an at-home COVID test approved by the FDA. Does this mean no more sticking that long swab up your nose to test for COVID? And it's a tumbleweed takeover in Australia. Now, here's Top Story. This will be a very warm peace. A very warm peace between Israel and Morocco, now the fourth Arab nation to normalize relations with the Jewish state. This is all part of President Trump's Middle East peace efforts, the president calling this latest breakthrough historic. The peace is based on a common mistrust and fear of Iran, Israel's deadly enemy that's been seeking nuclear weapons. Morocco joins the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and Sudan. Morocco's foreign affairs minister saying here that his country will begin permitting flights between the two nations. That will allow for holiday celebrations for Moroccan Jews to reunite with family members. The agreement comes on the first day of Hanukkah. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu thanked the King of Morocco and announced the reopening of liaison offices Morocco closed nearly 20 years ago. Morocco shut down the diplomatic offices in the year 2000 because of a dispute involving the Palestinians. I want to first thank President Trump for his extraordinary efforts to expand peace, to bring peace to Israel and the peoples of the Middle East. Presidential advisor Jared Kushner also reported diplomatic progress with Saudi Arabia, the wealthiest Arab country. He predicted that the Saudis would soon recognize Israel as well. London's Natural History Museum is choosing the photo of the year from these 25 entries. Which one is your favorite? Is it the Iberian lynx kittens? Their names are Coyote and Queen. Or the family of beavers? There's mom and dad. And do you see the two kits down there? Or how about this close encounter? The Natural History Museum will announce its winner in February, but if you send us your vote, we'll announce the World Watch winner too. Email us or comment on social media. We've got much more on our website, worldwatch.news. You're going to find our full 10 minute program. Plus, you'll be able to watch standalone feature stories or view the newscast to get a quick snapshot of the news of the day and continue on your way. Go there right now and sign up. That's worldwatch.news. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.